Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that short little montage of the tank. So now let's go into a few basic details of what the tank is and what it's running. So to start off with, the tank is an EA Aqua Reef Pro 900. So it's a 267 litre tank, I believe. Uh, but by the time you've got your equipment and your, your rock, your sand, all, all of that stuff in, inside the tank, that disperses some of the water. So you're looking at about 250 litres, which isn't a massive tank, but it's also not small. It's a, it's a medium-sized tank. It's a good-sized tank. And currently running only one Kessel A360X, which is a little bit shy. It's not, it's not enough to keep all these corals at the moment growing, but... That will be very shortly upgraded into two, and possibly a third smaller Kessel, I'm not really too sure yet. But there definitely will be two Kessel A360Xs on here, minimum. And it, it's also the same with flow, there's only two small wave pumps in here at the moment. There's one in the corner here, this is a TMC wave pump. I'm not really sure how many litres an hour it pushes, but I know it's not quite enough. Uh, so that's kind of on full power at the moment, and in the other corner there is also a... Tunzi 6040, something like that. It's a, it's a small Tunzi wave pump in the corner, which will give a little bit of flow, but not enough to keep it. I mean, there's a few acros in here which are not exactly getting enough flow, or, or what they should be, uh, but it's enough to keep them alive and, well, not really growing, but, you know, alive. And these, all the all the controllers will be mounted onto the wall on top of the tank here. So you've got the temp controller, main return pump, and on the other side is the, uh, what is that, TMC wave pump. And then there's one on the floor, uh, right there, that's the Tunzi one, which will be sh very shortly mounted onto the back wall as well. So to clean the glass, there is one big flipper magnet to do the, the main bulk of the, the glass, and then there's... A slightly smaller one to do the the lower level of the glass uh, towards the sand because that's specially designed to not trap any sand grains in it that will cause the glass to scratch so as you can see the tank has an overflow so that means it's a sumped aquarium so let's take a look at the sump so here's the sump i know it's slightly met well it's yeah it's quite a bit messy at the moment uh, it still needs to be uh, organised, sorted out, there's loads of cables everywhere, it's just been all kind of rough put together uh, at the moment. So you see we've got the solutions down the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, the pipe work starts at the uh, the back left corner there, uh, going into a filter sock. And then shortly, well, the next bit of the equipment will be the skimmer, which will also go in that chamber there. And then the second one will be, is the biological chamber, where you've got, it's filled with, I think, like, just over two kilos of Biohome Ultimate Marine, which is a little bit short. I think we're going to put, I think he's going to put a little bit more in, in there, because, uh, I mean, it's enough for uh, for the existing livestock in there to do all right. But ideally, when you start adding more livestock in there, you're going to need a little bit more biological media. And then in the uh, the third chamber, you've got just your return pump and your heater. And possibly he might add some chemical filtration. We'll see. I'm not really too sure what he's doing. And then that one on the end is the ATO reservoir, which isn't being used. There's a larger one down the side of the tank. It's a 25 litre tank. Um, and then the one that's, that comes with the tank in the sump is, I think, only an 18 litre tank. So this one's slightly bigger. It lasts about only just a week, which isn't too bad. So the tank only has a little bit of livestock in it at the moment because there was a transfer from one small tank to another one. It, all this livestock was in a Red Sea Max Nano, believe it or not. It was a 45 centimetre cube. Literally everything you see in the tank right now, including the rock and the coral, apart from the sand, all that stuff was in a little 75 litre cube, which very surprising. It was very, very tight in there. And that's why it was all upgraded into a larger system because it just didn't fit. It was all overcrowded and the corals were starting to touch. Uh, so it gives a nice big space for um, fish to swim around. Uh, there is currently four fish in here at the moment. Two clownfish, one Midas Blenny, and one Azure Damselfish. And this tank will be a mixed reef aquarium, so that means that it's going to have a little bit of SPS, a little bit of LPS, and a little bit of soft coral. So there is still a lot to do on this tank, a lot more rock to be added, a lot more equipment, all that kind of stuff. It will be a slow build. Uh, so you can go follow my dad's channel to watch the build of this tank. Uh, it's called Nathan Willard. There should, well, yeah, there will be a link in the description uh, to that channel. So next week will be a video on, on my tank, finally. I know it's been like nearly a month, but in that space, a lot of stuff has been happening. 
with uh, livestock. I've had a lot new, well, a little bit of new livestock in the tank, a little bit more equipment. So look forward to that. It's going to be a big three month update on the tank. And I'll see you guys in, well, yeah, next week. Bye.